and I'm gonna scroll over a little bit and here I'm gonna put a colon so in case this is not the case so in case the status is not all then we need to filter everything and then return a different object to the users in the first case where everything is all we're returning this object so everything that we already got so the same data that we got in the response and we're overriding just the message so if this is not the case then we need to return a different object so I'm gonna put open and close curly braces again I want to spread everything in the response again so I'm gonna say response and I need to override the message again so the message is gonna be similar we're gonna say you know server have been filtered by whatever status and the way that I'm gonna do this is by checking to see after I filter all of the servers do I actually have anything so if I filter the servers and it's zero so let's say the user choose servers down and currently we don't have any servers down so I have to say something like there's no server because it wouldn't make sense to say you know server filtered by down status because there's no servers so I'm gonna go inside of the response and inside of the data and I want to access all the servers and then I can call the filter because this is an array and I want to say for every server that I get call the callback function and then check to see if the server that status equal to the actual status so status so that's the status that we're getting from the function from up here and then I can check to see if I have anything in this array so I can call the length and then check to see if it's greater than zero so greater than zero and then put a question mark so that is similar to what we're doing here so we're saying if when we filter all the servers which is what we're doing in here when we say response data servers and then filter all the servers by that status so whatever status we got if the length of this array after we filter it if it's bigger than zero then our message is going to be something so I can put string and then I'm gonna pass in the message and I'm gonna put this on a new line so you guys can see it so I'm gonna copy all this line and then paste it here and then I'm gonna say server filtered by whatever the status is and then status so there's another thing if I go inside of this enum you can see that the status is gonna be like server underscore up and then server underscore down so I don't want to have that here I want to have something like server up and server down so I can do the same thing again inside of this string literal so I'm going to put this on a no line and instead of saying servers filtered by whatever the status is so that's going to be status underscore up status and I don't want that so I can check to see if this is the status up so I can do status dot server up and then put a question mark again so if this is the case then the string is going to be server up so I get rid of the underscore otherwise it's gonna be a different string so I'm gonna do server down because I only have two different options so the first case of all will be cut here and then here I know it can only be server up or server down so remember we're still inside of this first one so here now I can put another column and then return another string so that's the case where we don't have any servers after we filter everything so now we can say something like no servers of and then pass the status again status and then we can say something like found this is gonna be our message and this is gonna go off the screen I'm gonna put this again on a no line so that you guys can see it and then the last thing I want to override is the data because that's the actual data that we have to return so I'm gonna say data and remember this is an object so I'm gonna put open and close uh, curly braces and also let me get rid of this error because we don't need this question mark here and now it's telling us that this can be undefined and I'm gonna show you how to fix this in a minute and for the data we're pretty much gonna do just this the key again is gonna be servers as you can see everything is coming up because we we typed everything and then we're gonna set it equal to this guy right here so we're gonna just copy this and then paste it here so this can be a little bit confusing so make sure you really go over this multiple time because I understand that this can be a lot to take in all of a sudden we have two errors here and I'm gonna tell you why this is telling us that this can be passively undefined and that's because we have a configuration in this application and I'm gonna show you how to uh, manage this properly and remember we're still inside of the next which is gonna either return this object or this other object to the caller of this observable but after we call next on the subscriber so that we can omit something to whoever is subscribing to the observable we also have to complete the observable and this is how we signal that we have finished with what we were doing so we're going to call this subscriber again and then call complete so that's how we tell the subscribers okay we're done emitting whatever we're emitting we have completed as an observable and again like I said this is quite a lot and there are many different ways we can do this we can use if statements instead we can use switch but I found this to be a little bit more interesting and I really have no idea how to put this uh, you know in terms of lines so that you can really see it clearly uh, if I put it on one line it's gonna go off the screen so make sure you can copy this and paste it somewhere else just take a look at it put it on one line and, and check everything make sure you understand what's 
going on here. But this entire block is just for the message. And just so you guys understand, I'm going to go over it one more time. So what we're doing is trying to filter all the servers by a specific status. So what we're getting in terms of what parameters this observable is taking is the status they want to filter by in the data. So the entire HTTP response. And what we're doing here is we're creating this new observable. Okay. So you can see that this is a new observable. We give it a type and then for the callback function, which takes a subscriber. So we're naming this subscriber. We're going to either return this object. So you can see the beginning and the closing all the way down here. And what we're doing is we're console logging the response so that we can see what we have. And then we call next, which is how we emit a new value to whoever is subscribed to this observable. And then the first thing we do for the object object that we're going to return, we're going to check to see if the status is all, which is what we're doing here. If this is the case, then we're going to return this response. So this is the object that we're going to return all that. So we're going to spread everything that we already have in the response and override the message property inside of the response object or the custom HTTP response object up here. Otherwise, which means if the status is not all, then we have to filter the servers. So we're going to put this colon for the or because we have a question mark here. And then we're going to spread everything in the response again. And we're going to try to override the message and the data that we have to filter. So the message is going to be, we're going to filter all the servers, which is what's happening here, what is highlighted. And if the length of this array, after we filter everything, because when you call the filter, it's going to filter the array based on this condition. So if after we check, we see that the length of the array is greater than zero, then we're going to pass in this as the message, which is going to be all that. And here we're doing something similar again inside of the message. So we're going to say server filtered by, and then the status, which is going to be all this, is going to be either server up or server down, depending on the status. So if the status that they pass is server up, the string is going to be server up. So it's going to be servers filtered by server up status. Otherwise, it's going to be server server down. So that is just for the message. But in case that we didn't find any server after we filter the server by the status, then the message is going to be no servers of whatever the status is found. So this is all for the message. And then remember, the most important thing is the data. So that's the servers that we have to filter and return to the user. And that's what we're doing here. So we're going to say for the data, which is an object, how do we know it's an object? If we go inside of here, the data, remember, it's an object and we just have to filter these servers. So inside of here, we're going to say for the servers, we're just going to get the response. So whatever we got from the caller of this function, grab the data, which is going to be this data and then access the servers. You can see here for the servers, we're just going to go ahead and filter everything by whatever status that they pass up here by just using the same filter array method. And now for this error, so if I overrun this, it say this can be passably undefined. And that's because we have some configuration inside of the TypeScript uh, configuration file. So I'm going to show you where this is. So if you scroll down and you go inside of the TS config and collapse this, this strict true, it's for a bunch of configuration that we're turning true here. And I can show you real quick if I go ahead and turn this to false and go back and just wait for a couple of seconds, you can see that the error is gone. But you shouldn't do this because this is important for good development. You don't want to turn this entire thing off. And I'm going to go ahead and show you exactly what this is doing. So let's go back to the browser and I have the page for TypeScript link and you can see the strict for the configuration. It's going to turn all these things on. OK, so it's going to always check for strict, strict null checks. So it's really enforcing a lot of things for us by just turning this to true. So for now, I'm going to turn it to false, which is not recommended. And then I'm going to go through these and see which one that I want to turn on and which one that I want to turn off, because you really don't want to turn all of these off because it's really good for your development so that people don't make mistake and make things undefined and all when they're not supposed to. But I don't want to deal with this right now. So I'll go ahead and, you know, turn on the ones that I want to be turned on and and turn off the ones that I don't want. So let's go back to the code and we're going to keep it at false for now and then go back to the application. So I hope that makes sense. And again, if something is not clear, go ahead and reach out to me. I'll be happy to help you. And also one last thing, you can see that we're also piping all of this the same way that we're doing for the HTTP call that we're making. And remember these HTTP functions, they return an observable and you can go inside of them and you're going to see that it's returning an observable of whatever type that you pass it. 
So these are returning observables. So the same way we are manually creating this observable. So we can call the pipe on this function as well because it's technically an observable. So if while we're doing this operation, something goes wrong, then we'll also catch it in this exception here. So that's all we'll need to do for this server service. And I'm going to show you how we're going to use all these in the component and then have our application state at any given time in the application because the application state is going to determine which part of the UI that the user can see at any given moment moment. And I'm going to say this one more time. This is a lot to take in. So make sure you, you know, pause the video, slow it down or do whatever you need to do and make sure you understand what this is doing.